card. It is hot. It is a little bit cloudy, but it is go as the cars accelerate up towards the line and the lights go green. And away goes Daniel Serra from pole position. He absolutely nails the start then. And a good getaway by Sean Witt. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to another track reveal by the boys racing. I am Kyle, and I am once again very excited to present a project I was working on for a few weeks. What you see here is real-life footage of the Fnatic GT series at Circuit Paul Ricard in France. This track struck my attention researching GT2 series tracks, and this track is not coming in Motorsports 8, so I began my quest to build this unique track. Paul Ricard is most known for the 1.1 mile long straight on the back side of the track that ends with a wide sweeping right into a sector known as the village. However, each version of this track that was made breaks up that straight with different variants of a chicane design. These chicanes are present in the real life track and are used with some type of GT series cars. Overall, this was a fun track to build with the many different route options and the replication of the actual track with the blue and red lining features, the pit building and the open space, this makes for a great GT track for any type of racing, competitive, time attack, or just mucking around with friends. Here are a few demonstration laps by our very own Alan Endope. The track start finish line isn't at the actual start finish line of the real life track, but that's because of the starting point needed to build this track. After you swing around the large sweeping left, you'll enter into the one mile long version. However, this first chicane breaks up the area, forcing you into a sharp breaking left and then bringing you back to a straight that will eventually merge back into the long 1.1 mile straight. The track then veers to the right and a braking zone will appear as you enter into a wide sweeping right that is a little deceiving here as it becomes much sharper towards the end. You then enter the area known as the village, giving you some sweeping lefts and rights, allowing you to regain your speed but not get too fast. As you bank around to the right, you will be on the straight where the start finish line for the real track is, and on the right is the pit building and an area for fans. As you approach these areas here, there are several routes that can be taken. In particular, this one uses the second option. Entering into a relatively long straight, you'll break and turn right while going into not quite a full-on hairpin, breaking hard into this hairpin and back into the start-finish line. Option number two has you turn right on the long straight, sweeping around left, cutting across the long one-mile portion of the track, essentially making an S-curve bringing you back on to the straight. You'll sweep right again. However, it then brings you to a braking zone early where you'll cut off the back portion of the track and enter into the S curves. As you enter into the straight and approach the other chicane area, this one will provide you with a much higher speed chicane, allowing you to basically hold full throttle going through. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoy all versions of the track, including the short, as it's really good for time attack. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.